Come down to Pembrokeshire or across the Pembrokeshire and uh, I'm here in Broadhaven and uh, unfortunately I've sat in a pub for a bit too long and uh, the, the, uh, the sunset oh hang on the sunset was beautiful and uh, I had to rush down here, I didn't have time to set up to record some video. So we've missed sunset, you guys have missed sunset, but uh, it was pretty nice. But now I've just got this rock in the foreground, I've got a reverse grad uh, um, neutral density filter on. So this is where it's darkest on the horizon kind of gone over now but that was when the sun was sat on the horizon. I think we've got some nice shots. Sunset wasn't quite what I expected. But here we go. So tide's coming in. It's always good to get it to when it's receding. So I've got about a second exposure. I'm F13. I've got this. I've got, I've got the 7 to 14 lens. I've got nothing else. Um, Apart from this, I've got this rock in the foreground, and uh, here we go again. And I'm just shooting this rock in the foreground with the sunset. The sunset's more or less over now, but we've kind of got blue hour now. So uh, it's worth staying. We're on 1.3 seconds now because we've lost a bit of light. So I'm going to keep it on one second. So all I'm doing is changing the is changing the aperture. Woohoo! As it's receding, that's pretty nice. Um, all I do is keep changing the aperture down. Uh, I'm at 7 mil with a 7 to 14 lens, so I can go down to sort of f6.3 and everything will still be in focus. Pretty much focused to infinity. Ooh. But you know what? I think a second is too long. I'm interested to go about half a second. Let's go down to f6.3 now. We're really shooting blue hour now rather than... Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's beautifully focused. I'm focusing manually using focus peaking. Um, this is looking really nice, but it's, it's always worth saying to laugh to sunset, you know, sunset isn't the only thing, but I've got, still got this reverse grab on, don't really need it on now, quite frankly. Hey! Just little tip. Um, it's always worth knowing whether the tide is going in or out. Um, there's some great apps you can get. There's some great apps you can get to tell you the tide times and so on. I know the tide is coming in. So sunset was at 8.30 and, uh, and uh, high tide is at 9.30 here. So, so that makes a big because you you know whether you're going to get wet or not get wet. So I think I'll go back to the room now. Yeah, my foot's just got wet, so I think I'll go. Good morning. Right, it's uh, 
what is the time? Quarter to seven. The sun rose about ten minutes ago, but uh, it's rising. As you can see, it's rising behind me, uh, which is not a particularly wonderful direction to shoot in. However, the tide is out, unlike last night, and it's. I need to be quick because it's light in this sort of inlet here with a nice pink hue which is actually pretty much gone by the time I get out here I was a bit lazy getting up this morning but uh, whatever I think we can probably find something quite pleasant here with this blue slightly pinky light so I think we can probably do something some rocks here and the water yeah let's set up and see what we get I think that pink cloud I've taken a bit too long to get out. The, the light is lighting that boat out there beautifully. But I think I've taken a little bit too long to, to get the, drag myself out of bed. So let's just have a look at these rocks with this, this sort of nice bluish light and see what we get. Yeah, so, I, I, I think, I'm not convinced it's going to be great this morning. Um, not facing this way. There's a nice light on the, on the rocks over there now, uh, on the headland, but nothing that I particularly want to shoot. I think, the, the, I think it might be nice in a few minutes when the sun gets high enough to get on this rock here. Um, it's not a dissimilar shot to, to last night's shot, except that I've gone portrait. Um, and I'm using the rule of thirds with my horizon on the top line. Um, so I've got a 0.3 graduated neutral density hard edged on and I think it's definitely just wait a few minutes at some point the sun is going to come high enough in the next few minutes it's now 20 minutes after sunrise in the next few minutes the sun's going to come high enough to light this beach this water these rocks I think that will be the point where it might be a nice shot uh, it's not going to be a colour in the sky shot. Um, even if I had got up 10 minutes earlier, I was watching out the window the whole time. Even if I'd have been, up, if I'd have been up 10 minutes earlier, that wasn't going to be particularly special. So I think what I'll do is have a walk around the beach while I'm waiting. Kind of like this stream here that comes in. This little stream. Um, I don't know how good a shot it'll make. When the light comes on, what I might do is raise the tripod up and get a higher perspective of this. Um, the other thing is, is to uh, have a fly of the drone. That might be a good idea. Anyway, let's wait and see what happens. Um, so, I think the first shot I got will be quite nice. I, I, tried it in black and white I like that about the Olympus cameras you can just choose one of the art modes and it shoots a JPEG it's still shooting the raw behind the scenes um, <clears throat> excuse me but it shoots a JPEG and whilst it's not exactly as I would do it I would definitely do it a bit more dramatic uh, if I went to monochrome but it's got a monochrome set and you can kind of see it definitely muted colors uh, in that sort in, in that shot but I quite like it, you know, it's pretty standard. It's a rock in the foreground and then leading in and uh, there's a kind of a leading line of that water. Anyway, so what I thought I'd do uh, is walk down a little bit further from the town to get my requisite distance and uh, just pop the drone up and have a look around. Because um, the wind's it's not very windy and uh, just thought that'd be quite good. No one around on the beach, so it's the ideal time. See what it looks like from the air.
I think that's that. <coughs> the tide is uh, tide's coming in. Um, keep having to move stuff. Um, but the light's gone. Uh, we are we're not even at the theoretical end of gold now yet. But the, the the light is definitely gone. But got some nice shots from the drone. Really nice. Uh, really happy. Perfect. Go and have a coffee, a bit of breakfast, then we'll get out on the bikes. I've just come down, it's a couple of hours from sunset, but I've come down to do just some stuff, some long exposure stuff. So I've got a 10 stop filter on. I've just got these rocks going away in front of me. The sky is quite nice. And uh, so I'll just set up here on the tripod. I'm just going to move. This is. You know, there's, there's quite a lot of rocks and stuff around here. It's quite nice. So, um, just uh, use it, utilizing the lifetime mode on the EM5. Uh, and uh, got a 10 stop filter on, 0.6 graduated, hard edge. Well, I think I might have got something nice there. Um, I've been using the 10 stop filter to uh, really smooth out the water and make it look quite, well, quite mirrored. What I've been doing is I've got the polarizer on and then I've been tweaking that and kind of going between, I've been looking at a, I've been at a rock over there, but it's very similar to the setup I got here, which is the camera you know, in front of this rock. The tide's coming in now, and that's something when you're shooting at the coast you've always got to be aware of. There's a lot of rocks. If we look around here, you know, I'm in a position where you could easily get cut off if you're not watching what you're doing. So it's really important that you really watch what you're doing. Have your wits about you. Make sure it hasn't come around the sides of you and cut you off. Otherwise you get wet feet. But I think it's pretty interesting. I don't know, you know, we're way off golden hour, so I don't know whether it will go black and white or what, but I've just been playing with the with the um, with the polarizer and just going it's affecting the water. So you you've got either reflections or you've got no reflections and you're seeing into the water. Ten stop filter, so it's been in an ideal world I wouldn't want I've been at F6.3, I'm at 12 mil. And with a 10 stop filter, which is the only one I've got um, with me, it's it's a little bit, you're going to, um, you're always, it's got, in this light, it's gonna be a little bit too long for capturing water. So what I decided to do was really smooth it out. Instead, instead of trying to get the movement of the water, really make it like a mirrored finish. You can see this comes in, it's coming in around my feet, lapping my feet. So, but it, it was kind of giving this mirror finish and then I would adjust the polarizer again and it would sort of bring out more of the rock. Um, it quite, quite interesting. I, I, it, it, it's, it's uh, like I say, I don't know whether it will be a black and white. I don't know if it's going to work, one thing. Anybody, who's, well, okay. Anybody who says they know the shot's going to work, when they're stood here looking at it through this little screen, uh, and can just visualize it they're better than me a lot better than me you know fair play to them um, so I don't know if it's gonna work I just with experience take the shots have an idea of what might work and then I shoot a few and then I get them back on the iPad and have a look at them and decide if they've worked or not it's just that's how I do it so I honestly don't know if these are gonna work or not See, what was I saying about having your wits about you? I'm gonna get wet feet in a minute. Anyway, so we'll see what we'll see what this we'll see what these things come out like. The sky's kind of mildly interesting. Uh, I love I love seascapes though. I love this sort of photography. Whoa! Yeah, I think I'll move. Let's move the camera. This is quite interesting here. Uh, this little sort of inlet in this rock opposite the sea. I've no idea if 
if it will make an interesting photo. But the, this this over here, this is quite interesting actually. I don't know. I don't know. This kind of leads into it. I think a change of lens. Trouble is, the sea's coming at me at a rapid rate. But I quite like this lead into here. Oh, I've got to be quick. I've got to be quick. I've got to be quick. Oh, I'm getting wet. Uh, I need to get this shot before I get cut off. And I am going to get cut off here. It's really coming in quick. Uh, oh, oh, wet feet, wet feet. Uh, oh, stop it, go away. Ah, uh, too late. Too late. Yeah, I need to move from here because it's, uh, right. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to stop videoing now before I get cut off. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Tide's coming in way too fast. I'm going to end up with wet feet, and these are the. Only <laughs> I need to wear these shoes to go and have a pizza tonight. So uh, I, I'm not sure it was a good shot anyway. It sort of just caught my eye as I was stood there, always just looking around. I love beaches. Beaches are. I don't know. It's just like here. Just this little. Someone's made this little thing there, and there's writing, and there's stuff. And, a change every day. Oh, there's quite a there's quite a sandcastle over here. I've still got loads of beach left. Uh, you know, it's just where I was that it's an issue. Um, there's still loads of beach left, but it's not that. You know, you need to be at the water's edge, really, or you need to be getting the beach. Uh, if that makes sense. You need to be at the water's edge or you need to be sort of a long way back and, and using the beach as a lead in if you like this is a really impressive castle that's really impressive um, there's a lot of effort gone into that done by a parent I would guess rather than a child anyway yeah so it's nice it's nice here okay I think I'll go and have some pizza